Okay, so you've got a closed loop machine, you've used it throughout the week and you're wondering how do I clean it? Well, first thing you need to do is you need to go check out the hydrocyclone video which will be so much help. Let's say you've got a closed loop machine, um, you, you can see that the water is not clear enough or that you've used it for maybe two weeks constantly, non-stop, and you haven't cleaned it yet. Now, the best thing to do, I mean, I'll show you the sedimentation tank. We may need someone else to record this whilst I'm talking about it, but we'll give it a shot whilst we're here. Okay, so this is the sedimentation tank, uh, or set tank for short. Let's, you know, let's keep it cool and abbreviate stuff. Um, so sedimentation tank, what you see on top, this is a layer one filter. It's like a filter paper. And uh, as you can see there from the pinch valve, so I'll just get a bit closer. I've just started the process of uh, trying to clean this. So this is the pinch valve. What this does is this is on a timer. Every time you're using the closed loop machine, this will be closed. The pinch valve will actually be closed. And let's say you set it to 30 seconds after you've blasted, that's when this will open release some water and the media, as you can see there. So it's mainly water that drains through to the bottom. Uh, this, is just, this is just media that's been used. Um, and then this hasn't really been cleaned in a while, but we're gonna get to it. So like I said, this sedimentation tank, the filter on top of it is, is layer one. And then underneath you've got three buckets, which, uh, which we'll, I'll get to show you. I'm gonna move the tank out now. Uh, all I've done was just switch off the, the water that circulates back. I'm just gonna remove this little pipe here. Just give you a better idea. It should be a lot easier than, than I'm making it out to be, but there you go. I'm trying to do this one hand. So pipes out and that's pretty much it. The tank is ready to, it's free to come out, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we'll just get rid of this. You can tell that it's, it's been used quite a bit, but here we go. So we're just gonna throw this away. Right, so I've got the top cover off. Let's have a look. Okay, so there we have the three buckets sort of like overlaid on top of each other like a, like a weir system. So one bucket, one bucket gets full, gets to the top and then it will start spilling over into the second bucket and then obviously onto the third bucket as well. That's where we put the, uh, the water. So after it's clean, this is gonna get filled back up with water and uh, up to a certain level, level's about here. You can see by the line. The water in the bucket is going to get emptied out. Make sure you do that safely. I'll show you what's actually at the bottom of the, of the buckets. So this is what it looks like down at the bottom of the bucket. I've left a little bit of water in there just so you can see what the color is of it. And yeah, that's all media, that's dirt, that's oil, grease, all sorts of stuff. Okay, so pro tip, try not to use the jet wash 
too hot on the small buckets because, um, yeah, so it's, <laughs> it got a bit out of hand. It spread all over my face, a little bit in my eye, but you know, that was just my fault because you know, I thought I'd go out with a jet wash. So if you have something, uh, if you have calmer waters, <laughs> Um, a smaller hose, uh, hose pipe rather than a jet wash, then that would probably be better to use on the small buckets because a, you can't really hold on to them, and if you're trying to hold on to them, like stand over them with the uh, with the jet wash, they'll spray all over you. So it's uh, difficult. I've had to clean the camera like a few times, GoPro a few times as well. But there's a little pro tip for you, right? Just use the little hose pipe. There it is, all cleaned up. So I'm just gonna put the top on, put the filter paper back on as well, and then it is good to go. And then we'll put the finishing touch. Yeah. I find this a lot harder with one hand. But there you go. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Let us know in the comments and uh, I'll make more of them for you. Right, I'm gonna go. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, all that kind of good stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay tuned.